monkey pox monkey pox monkey pox that's all anybody wants to talk about on 23rd of july 2022 the world health organization no less has decreed monkey pox to be a public health emergency of international concern so what does that mean it means that in the last 6 months itself we have had more than 4000 cases of this disease in over 70 countries it's become like an epidemic learn a little bit about monkey pox so what are the common symptoms well to be honest it starts like any other viral infection you get fever body aches malaise headache you know low energy etc less appetite but one interesting symptom is lymph node enlargement lymph node swelling now within a few days you get the rash and the rash is also something which changes with time so initially it will be a reddish rash then it will become maybe blister filled with some water or it can become pus filled and after a few days it may burst and you might have some crater like indentations in the rash and commonly this rash will be on the face on the neck uh, on the hands feet or even on the genitals typically the symptoms last 2 to 3 weeks and 99% people are going to become absolutely fine after this time nothing will happen to them complications can occur in people who are already immunocompromised very small babies pregnant women etc how does this disease spread it spreads with close contact so unlike covid or chicken pox or hand foot mouth disease which spreads very fast you need to have prolonged contact with the person to actually get monkey pox from them so if you are using their clothes or sleeping on the same bed or uh, you know eating food from the same utensils it can happen but again it has to be close contact for over hours to actually get monkey pox on the person even the body secretions can Uh, transmit this particular disease so for 2 to 3 weeks you are likely to be infectious and till the time your uh, skin lesions start healing your rashes become completely dry and they get covered with new skin you need to be careful because you can infect other people how do you get monkey pox so as i said you get it from contact with people you can also get it in africa for example from wild animals so Uh, coming in close contact with an infected animal um, can cause this disease or it can come from consuming uncooked raw jungle meat so wild animal meat if it's not properly cooked maybe monkey pox can happen interestingly for very old people you know above 50 60 years old they have had the chicken pox vaccine and that also gives some protection against monkey pox. if you have symptoms of monkey pox the first thing you need to do is please consult your doctor they can make the provisional diagnosis they can get the testing done and god forbidding if you come positive for monkey pox you need to isolate the good news is because of covid we already know the abc of uh, getting isolated so we need to have a separate room we need to make sure that we have separate bedding clothing separate uh, utensils for eating food bathroom for taking a bath and making sure that all secretions are properly cleaned obviously wearing a mask doing regular hand sanitization and maintaining a good distance is the key for preventing monkey pox in other people why are we concerned about monkey pox because it's a otherwise rare condition because in rare people it can cause complications and the complications can be things like pneumonia can be things like brain problem can be things like severe skin infections but as i said before 99 out of 100 people who get monkey pox are going to be absolutely fine so you need to be just aware of this without being too paranoid remember as of today there have been only four cases in the entire country of monkey pox so tomorrow there might be more but honestly given the way it spreads given the fact that it doesn't spread very aggressively unlike covid i don't believe that it's going to be a very very serious problem in the long run this is dr gaurav gupta your personal child specialist